And welcome back, this is Bella Scoop with an episode of Let's Play Xenogears. I'm joined, as always, by Fei Fong Wong, and when we last left off, I was a dick, wasn't I? Yeah, there's a reason for it, though, because th these cutscenes are kind of important and emotional, and I wanted to make sure that I got them all in the same video, and the only way I knew for sure to do that was to start a new session with it. So, let's go ahead and talk to everybody here. Come on, now. Go for it! We have to go talk to Ellie. Women don't like insensitive men. Uh, really? Logic says otherwise. You don't know how to treat a lady, do you? Sure I do. Then the porn music started. What's up, dude? I don't know much about this kind of thing, but Hammer used to tell me, be nice to women. Uh, uh, Hammer also tried to kick our ass, so... That's not the way to treat a... Do I really want to listen to what you have to say? Go! <laughs> I am not worried about you. Don't you worry about that, you Joe. Hey, go! Sedan. Is it not the time for you to come out with your feelings now? Probably! So let's go talk to Ellie. We... Where is Ellie? I think... Don't run away, be it... Okay, apparently she's not over here, so she must be down here in this room. Let's go in this room. There she is. Ah, uh, sorry about what just happened. Forgive me, but I want to explain. Now, for the first time, people and both people on both Earth and Solaris are becoming one. But then, not all of them are strong like the crew of this ship, or the people in Shavat. Even we almost lose sight of our future at times. So you can imagine what regular people go through. That's why people need someone like you to depend on, as a light to guide us. You freed the hearts of the people that have been used as tools by that ministry for hundreds of years. Ellie, it was you! And now your body doesn't just belong to you alone anymore. That's why I can't let you be in any danger. And that's why I don't want you to fight anymore. It's funny, isn't it? What? We used to be enemies, but now we're together like this. In the beginning, I think I saw myself in you. We seemed to, have to overlap. You being in a similar situation as I was in. When I was with you, I didn't feel alone or apprehensive. That's why I thought I liked you. But it wasn't that. I simply didn't have the courage to look at my true self. I turned to you to run away from it all. I mistook that for love. But it's different now. I can face my own problems. I am me, and you are you. It has all become clear to me now. I also learned that I really do need you. It's not because I need you as my as a sanctuary for my problems. I need you because I truly love you, Ellie. I know what you're saying, Faye. I know why you're so concerned for my safety. But you know, I'm scared. I fear we may never see each other again. I just have this feeling. Don't worry, I won't die. No, it's not that. It's something completely different. It's as if I'm being torn apart by something I can't resist. That I'm no longer me. Even if you come back safely, it's still. It just feels so uneasy. That is why I need to go with you. I can't bear to be away from you. I feel the same way. Ever since the time I met you in that forest, I think it's the same feeling that you've been having. I was also running to you. But I have to solve my own problems. I can't throw my problems onto you. There is another me. Id is within me. I fear that at any moment, Id may awaken within me. You are the only one that has been able to keep me from giving in to Id. It was because you were always by my side that I was still able to keep from losing myself. I promise you that I will return. So, that is. Ellie, I want you to be my reason to return. To be my home that I can return to. Ellie, if you will wait for me to come back, even if we are in totally different places, 
As long as you will stay by my side, I know I'll be able to do anything. Oh, Faye. Ooh, anime. Be quiet, I think. Fade to blue for the loss. Oh, but they kissed. Ah, oh, it only took 150 something parts. What the hell? But oh, oh snap! How you doing, Ellie? Are you going now? Yeah. Sorry. Did I wake you? It's okay. I've been awake all along. All along? Uh huh. I was watching over you while you slept. Before I realized it, it was morning. What? Well, I'm off. Alright then. Do be careful. Yeah, I will. Oh, could you hold on to this for me? What is this? Is this a pendant? I don't know whose it is. It seems it was on me when I was brought in to lay here. It may be mine, or it could be... Oh, nothing. Will you just hold on to it for me? Alright, I'll hold on to it for you. Thanks. Well, I guess it's goodbye. Oh, Faye. Yeah. Thank you. For sex? No problem. Anytime. You got my number, right? I'll totally call you, Ellie. D don't you worry about that. I will definitely call. Oh, and now we're back in Nissan. Ellie, are you okay about this? Don't you want to be with him? Yes, but it's because I believe in him. Just being close to a person is not in itself an indication of love, is it? But men are selfish. When something big happens, they say, It's too dangerous. You can't come. They treat women like, they are, like we are weaklings. Well, you are, Margie. Although, it is true, I can't help Bart and friends much anymore. That's not true. Everyone wants someone special waiting for them. Someone who will protect a place they can return to. If you don't have that peace of mind, then you would not be able to get anything done. Then try to tough it out as much as they can, and then some. They're cute the way they do that, aren't they? Yeah, you're right. Anyway, we have things we have to do too now, and while we do them, let's pray that everyone comes back safely. To God? No. To your own innermost feelings that everyone believes in. What's wrong? I knew it. Yes, that must be it. What? Ellie! It's like everyone says, you must be a reincarnation of Sophia. You have no way of knowing the Nissan sex teaching, but what you say... Well, it's exactly the same as what Sophia always said. Yes, that might be it. The first time I visited here, I had the most amazing feeling. Jerusalem complex. Familiar. Sad. Like I had visited here many times in my dreams. I know where each room is and what's in them. I just know I must have been here in the distant past. Before she had spoken of this, I'd have brushed it off with a laugh. But now, now I can more or less believe it. The things I couldn't do then, I'm probably trying to do now. Things you couldn't do. Yes, things I couldn't do. Eldridge. 
driving back the Solarian interceptor forces we took to the floating continent, Mahanon. Yeah, you guys remember that I read that it was the Eldridge in the original, uh, the original opening cutscene? Here it is again. It was the central hull, a colossal spaceship with a diameter of at least 40 Celts. No way! 40 Celts? That's huge! I totally know what a Celt is. Judging from the condition of the hull, we estimated the ship was thousands of years old. You guys remember the opening cutscene? With the guy in the chair, you shall be as gods. It was determined by examining the inside of the wreckage that some kind of accident occurred on the ship about 10,000 years ago, which forced it to crash onto our planet. Alien beings that came to our planet from a far-off galaxy eons ago. Could it possibly have been that our ancestors were the passengers of this ship and had crash-landed here on this planet? Seeking God and his divine wisdom, Razael's tree, which, it is said, lie here in Mahanon. We proceeded further. Open a menu, change party members. We have to change party members, and of course, Ellie is unavailable. I am going to... Who am I going to use here? I don't think I want to use Choo Choo. Alright, Choo Choo sucks in a gear. Uh, we haven't seen uh, Maria in a while, so let's bring her in. And then... Um, do I want to use Satan? Let's try to level up Elmeralda some more. And then, are you going to let me open up the menu? Yes, thank you. Open up the menu. And then once you do that, I don't believe you can change your... Change your uh, party again, which is kind of aggravating. Um, let's see, we got the Crescents. That's good. We got 17. That definitely needs to change. Definitely needs to change. What are we gonna go? What's cast AR? Armor defense value plus two. Okay. Um, hold on for one second. Okay, so I, I I pretty much made everybody as defensively bulky as I could. Gave 17 the extra AR plus six. With gonna keep the HP 30 there. Um, extra AR plus five and extra AR. D you know what? No. Or frame HP 30 as well. And then frame HP 30 and two magnetic coats. And hopefully, we, we should be set. Let's go ahead and take on our next enemy here. Continue with the game. Let's go. We can do this. The hell is that? Huge! In the depths, we saw an alien form. It was partially rotted and petrified. A giant, grotesque being. It gave off an inexplicable air of intimidation. Perhaps it was more than a gut reaction. Perhaps it was the fear of the absolute that came from the very depths of our inherited instincts. Oh, damn, it's moving. And it's boss time! Because, you know, there's pretty much nothing but boss fights in this too. What are you gonna do? Okay, so, we're up against this thing. We don't know its name yet. Uh, well, I know its name because... Well, because, yeah, its name is Deus. And it just halves everybody's HP. So... Uh, you know what? Special options, fix frame. You fix your frame. You do not fix your frame, though. You go for system id. Because when it halves it, your HP, it also halves its HP, which is awesome. Did I not give you a booster? What the hell? Attack. Go, Kishin! How much damage are we going to do here? 
74, 74. Not enough for the win, but... He heals himself for 16,000. How pissy... That's not good. No, it's bueno. Uh, what can we do here? Special options, fix frame. Yeah, fix your frame. This guy pisses me off. I'm not even gonna lie. What kind of special options do you have? Graviton Cannon! 